I am sharing my journey through life, through fasting, through our RV experience, through our product video review videos, and uh, any other videos that may be coming around here soon as far as truck driving and eating healthy while on the road. This channel is named Operation Life for a reason. This is a real life situation. This isn't some hardcore, fasting focused, super strict channel. If that's what you're looking for, feel free to move on. The name of this channel is Operation Life for a reason. All of us are going through life. For all of us that are fasting, we're not always going to be 100% strict and by the book on fasting. You need to enjoy life. You need to be able to celebrate situations, birthdays, weddings, vacations. You need to have a good time on. Passing big tests or CDL tests like I just passed on Friday. Things like that, you need to be able to celebrate with friends and family. And you need to make sure that you do not feel guilty for celebrating. Fasting is not like alcoholism where there is a wagon that you have to be on all the time. You can stay fasting focused. And on your refeed days, yeah, it'd be great if you stayed at that 500 calorie refeed with a very strict four to one ratio of veggies to meat protein. But is it required? No, it's not required. There is no wagon to fall off of. Life is a long roadway with lots of turns and lots of detour routes. As long as you come back onto the right route, you're still living that same lifestyle. So follow me through this journey and we will, like I said up here on this board, reach the goal of 200 pounds. Now we started this year in January and even at the end of January, I started weighing in at 396 pounds. Let's see where we are today. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Operation Life. I am Josh and today we're going to be going over several weigh-ins going back until Monday the 5th and then we're going to weigh in today as well. Now as you heard from that long intro, which I do apologize for the lengthy intro, but some things just had to get off my chest, um, you know, because this is Operation Life. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm not here to be hardcore, massively strict like Cole Robinson is with the snake diet. He's the founder of the snake diet. Yeah, you want to be hardcore? Go ahead, be hardcore. You can be hardcore. But I'm also here to let you know you can lose weight without being extremely hardcore. Okay, now I have been fasting for the last three weeks five days every single week and I have discovered a little bit of a pattern and then yesterday my wife pointed out another pattern with how I eat and uh, we'll get to all those patterns later on at the end of this video so let's go ahead jump right in we're gonna start with Monday's weigh-in so let's show you that one right now oh just really quickly when you do see these weigh-ins during the week I am still at the CDL Academy. So when it's dark, it's because my roommate is still asleep. I wake up early. I weigh in. I get ready for the day and I study. Not everyone does that. But if you want to be successful, get up early. All right? So let's go ahead and show you Monday's weigh in right now.
Monday's weigh-in, pretty good. 253 pounds, dead even. Now, I'd say that's pretty darn good. I'm not sure if you guys can see this where you are way back yonder, but last Sunday when we went to refeed, after our refeed, we weighed in at 259.2 pounds. 259.2 pounds. And then we woke up on Monday and weighed in at 253. We lost 6.2 pounds overnight. Why? I'm telling you, I discovered a little bit of a pattern with these five day fasts. And I think I'm going to be sticking with these five day fasts. Like I said, we'll get to those patterns later. Let's go ahead and show you Tuesday's weigh in right now. So Tuesday's weigh in was 252, what was it? 252.4 pounds. Not much of a difference from Monday at 253. Not even quite a full pound. Uh, actually, it's just over half a pound. I mean, it's not bad, right? We're still losing weight. And, you know, things are things were a little bit frustrating. And it looks like my camera's going to die. So I will be right back when I change the battery. All right, and we're back. We've got a fresh battery in the camera. So we're going to go ahead and get this done. Tuesday's weigh-in. Like I said, we lost just over half a pound. We're still losing weight, but I'm starting to wonder what is going on. But I figured I might still be retaining some water from not only the food, but also probably because it was really hot last week in Phoenix. It got up, it got up to 117 degrees. It was, it was pretty, pretty scorching. Let's go ahead and show you Wednesday, August 7th weigh-in right now. Wednesday's weigh-in, not very bad. 251 point, oh, point two pounds. So we did have a pretty good drop from Tuesday to Wednesday from 252.4 down to 251.2 pounds. That's pretty good in my book. I like it. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> if you do, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, that's okay. You can let me know in the comments below as well. I figure all the haters can't fast anyways. Either that or they're just hardcore and they don't know how to enjoy life to the fullest like some of us others do. Let's go ahead and show you Thursday's way in right now. Thursday's way in. 200 50 pounds, point two. So we lost another 1.2 pounds. Getting back down to those 240s, getting really close. Let's see what happened on Friday morning. Now we're getting towards the end of the week. Friday is when I had my test, and I didn't test until about 9.30 in the morning, but uh, I kept the same schedule. So that's why it's gonna be dark when we go ahead and show you this way in. Friday's weigh-in, we hit the 240s. It wasn't by much, but we still hit them, right? It's 249.4 pounds. 249.4 pounds. Finally, getting close to where I left off right before we went to vacation in early July of you know last month. And if you keep wondering what I'm looking at down here on the table, as I've shown you several times before, Wow, there's a bad reflection. This is the Zero Calories Fasting Tracker app. I keep track of all my fasting. I used to keep track of my body measurements and things like that. And uh, this is where things are getting a little bit tricky because like I said, I started noticing a pattern last week. I wasn't losing nearly the amount of weight as I was the previous weeks. But when I was putting on my clothes and tightening up my belt, and putting on my watch 
I noticed a few things had changed. I had tightened down my watch down one full notch and I had tightened my belt down to its very last belt notch. So last week, even though I haven't done body measurements in a very long time, mainly because I'm very self-motivated and if you're not very self-motivated, I recommend that you do body measurements at least twice a month. Uh, I think it might be time to do body measurements again because I did notice the shrinking of the waist and the wrist. I, ha I didn't do them for today's video, so we'll do them for next week's video. How's that? I'll, I'll put them in there. Uh, I'll film it tomorrow and next week. We'll do them again and see if there's any difference from just this next week. But uh, that is one thing that has been a pattern. So. The first five day fast, I dropped a pretty good chunk of weight. Actually, let's back up. We started uh, going to school, uh, or the tra CDL Training Academy back on the 21st is when my wife dropped me off, right here. I weighed 276 pounds, right? That was on Sunday. Woke up in the morning on Monday, the 22nd, started school. I started my fast on Sunday, by the way, and then ended my fast on Friday. So we're gonna go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Sunday morning we weighed in at 276 on July 21st. Friday morning we weighed in at 263. That's 13 pounds in one week. 13 pounds in five days. Let me correct you, or correct myself. 13 pounds in five days. That's pretty darn good in my book, in anybody's book. And then I did a refeed Friday night, and I still lost weight. Down to 262.4. Maybe I should bring you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see this. Hold on just a second. All right, so here we are. This was the start of me being dropped off in July. The start of my five day fast on July 21st. So we go until Friday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Let me flip this around, it might be easier to see. Friday at 263, like I said, that's 13 pounds in five days. I refed Friday night and still lost weight, not much. And then I ate I snacked pretty much all day on Saturday, I healthy snacks. And then on Sunday, we gained a little bit. Right here, the 262.6 is before the weigh-in. And then I did my refeed. And after the refeed, we weighed in at 263.4 pounds. All right. Then Monday, we dropped down to 258.8. This was the start of another five day fast. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now we're down to 253 pounds. 253 pounds on Friday. I did a refeed Friday night, snacked all day Saturday after we weighed in. <laughs> and then Sunday morning, before my, my uh, normal refeed, we weighed in at 257.6. After my refeed, we weighed in at 259.2. And then we come to Monday morning, just this past week, 253. Not very bad at all. A 6.2 pound drop overnight. Overnight, everyone. And then this obviously slows way down on the weight loss, okay? This whole week slowed down compared to these other two weeks. What changed between this week, this week, and this week? Can you guess what changed? I kind of already hinted towards it uh, before we put just the board on the on the on the, on the, <laughs> on the screen. Leave it in the comments below and we'll get right to this here in a minute. 
Alright, so while you guys are all leaving your comments below on what you think may have changed within these three weeks, what kind of pattern you might be seeing, we're going to go ahead and show you yesterday's weigh in right now. So, Saturday morning after I did my refeed last night, or I guess that would be Friday night. We weighed in at 251.2 pounds. That's all right. We gained a little bit of weight, 249.4 to 251.2. That's okay, that's what happens when you refeed, right? And then Saturday, I snacked a little bit throughout the day, pretty healthy food. And then my wife, my beautiful, amazing wife, took me out to the Olive Garden to celebrate the fact that I passed my CDL test on the first try. Which is really good. A lot of us did pass. It was a great day. And uh, Saturday was wonderful. We went out to Olive Garden. If you follow me on Instagram at operationlife.yt, you will see exactly what I ate. And it was absolutely phenomenal. I don't remember what the meal is called, so go to my Instagram channel, operationlife.yt. I will actually, there's there's pictures of what I ate right there. But I, I can kind of tell you a little bit. It was some sort of, um, uh, what'd they call it? The Zoodles. What? Zoodles. Zoodle Primavera. With, I had some chicken added to it. It was absolutely phenomenal. The noodles were actually made out of zucchini. It was phenomenal. So it was um, it was really good. Go to my Instagram channel, operationlife.yt. I actually have the exact uh, name of the meal and what's in the meal as well, right there on my Instagram channel. So check it out. Uh, it's a very good meal. I recommend it for any refeed because it's shockingly delicious would be the best way for me to put it uh, so I had that refeed and then we woke up this morning Sunday which is uh, you know yesterday for you guys but uh, we'll show you this morning's way in right now This morning's weigh-in wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, yeah, we went up a little bit, but being at 252 pounds, dead even, not very bad at all. Now, in order for me to really want to kick off my fasting on Sunday, I always do my typical refeed, which is the shredded chicken and goat cheese omelet, and then a giant salad with some added shredded chicken into that as well. I ate that, waited a while, weighed myself again so that we could get the after the refeed weigh in and we're going to go ahead and show you that one right now. So after the refeed we came in at 253 pounds dead even. We gained one pound after my refeed. Now we're gonna go ahead and get to these patterns that I was starting to notice over the last three weeks and the pattern that my wife noticed yesterday. Now, if you've already put in the comments below, phenomenal. Hopefully we're gonna we're gonna find out right now whether or not you were right. <clears throat> these three weeks of fasting has really opened my mind to consistent fasts of five days for my body specifically. Now, with the fasting focused lifestyle, you have to treat it as an, an experimental lifestyle. You need to figure out what fasting lifestyle is going to work best for you, whether it's intermittent fasting, 24 hour fasting, 48 hour fasting, 72s, five days. It's going to be different for the vast majority of us out there, okay? For me, I think I found my sweet spot with five days. I enjoy doing five day fasts. 120 plus hours is 
for lack of uh, uh, better terminology, it's a cakewalk for me. <laughs> what did you put down below? What I've noticed is that the first couple weeks, I was dropping lots of weight, dropping lots of water weight, and then all of a sudden this past week happened. And the weight loss really kind of, instead of really taking a dramatic drop, it kind of started slowing down a little bit, right? However, when the weight loss slows down, what have I always said in the past? You need to check your measurements. I was unable to do that last week because I have no idea what happened to uh, my measuring tape. I'll, I'll find it soon and uh, we'll take body measurements on, for the next video, like I said. But I guarantee you I shrank. You don't lose an inch off of your belt line if you're not shrinking. You don't lose a full strap around your wrist if you're not shrinking. It's a good thing to shrink, folks. It's a good thing to shrink. Maybe not height-wise, but <laughs> if you're shrinking down your fat lines, that's always a good thing. That may have sounded weird. Whatever, what can I say? The other pattern that I picked up on, thanks to my wife, she pointed it out. Over the last three weeks, I have not been able to eat nearly as much as what I would normally be able to eat on my refeeds. I struggle to complete my refeeds more and more with each five day fast that I do. Now my eating window is about from, I'd say about eight o'clock Friday night. Does that, does that sound right, huh? About eight o'clock Friday night? Yeah. So my eating window goes from 8 o'clock Friday night until 8 a.m. Sunday morning. So it's not a full three days. It sounds like it because you're eating Friday night, I'm eating Saturday, and then I'm eating Sunday morning. But it's really only about 48 hours, maybe even a little bit less. 8, 8, 12, I'm doing the math. I'll just say my eating window is about 48 hours. Now, if I didn't snack on Saturday, would I lose more weight? Heck yeah, if I did one day of refeed instead of what I am doing, would I lose more weight? Heck yeah, do I care? Not entirely, and I'll tell you why. I want to be able to enjoy my life. I don't want to feel like I'm being held back by a diet, like, you know, most people feel like they always get held back by these diets or fasting focused lifestyle. Oh, I can't, I can't eat Saturday because I'm supposed to be fasting. You need to learn how to adjust. You need to learn how to enjoy life while you're still fasting. If you're not enjoying life, you're doing something wrong. If you are strict, hardcore, enjoying life while fasting, and staying super strict and super focused to it, great, good on you. That's not for me, and it's most likely not for the vast majority of you all out there. And that's okay. We can go through life, we can still lose weight, and just because I put on, let's see, 249 to 253, just because I put on three and a half pounds, and refeeds you don't do you, you think I'll lose that overnight what do you think let's go back let's go back two weeks ago after my refeeds we were at 259.2 pounds woke up Monday morning we weighed 253 that's exactly what I weigh right now people exactly what I weigh right now after I did my last refeed 253 I'm still dropping weight and I'm doing it with a more relaxed fasting lifestyle I didn't do as much cardio as I wanted to be able to do last week do I wish I could have done more cardio yes I do 
Will I be doing some more cardio now that I'm waiting for my mentor and I'm back here at the RV park? Yes, I will be. So over the course of the next five days, I'm going to be fasting and hopefully be able to do a lot more cardio than I have been. And thus, hopefully dropping a lot of weight this week. But we'll see if this pattern continues. Because I'm sure you guys are just as curious as I am, if not even more. But like I said, the fasting focused lifestyle is an experimental lifestyle and you need to learn how to adapt, how to adjust, how to enjoy yourself when you're fasting. If you're not, you're doing something wrong and you need to change it. That's all I have for this week, everyone. I might be doing a live video, I'm not totally sure. My wife is trying to talk me into doing one. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a live video this coming week. And if you do, put down what day, what time would work best for you. Let me know what side of the country you're on because our times <laughs> differ as well. So until next time, please like, share, subscribe. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this motivates you. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something today that you don't have to be really hardcore in order to drop weight with the fasting focused lifestyle. We will be dropping back into the 240s within the next 48 hours. That's pretty much a guarantee. How much further we dive down into the 240s, we'll have to wait until next Monday's video to find out. So until next time, we'll see all you beautiful people on the next video. Peace. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright, cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love.